I love to play games, and today I'm going to do what I love. Buy a new game and play it. I also hate buying games and three hours into them, finding out they're rubbish and now I can't get a refund anymore and my money's wasted. So I created this channel so I can make sure it won't happen to you. Hello everyone and welcome to Money's Worth. Today I bought a treasure chest clicker on Steam for 3 euros and 59 cents. Find out if this game is worth your money and your time. I will play it for 4 hours and rate it on 3 categories. Gameplay to see if the game is fun and works well. Content to find out if there's enough for you to do. And lastly, money's worth. To let you know if I think you can buy the game without risking wasting your money. I also hate getting a game spoiled in a review. So the footage you're going to see is from the beginning of the game and won't ruin your experience. I will play the game for 4 hours and be back with my ratings. See you then. And now I'm back. As you can see, I ended up playing the game for almost 8 hours. And that was due to me watching YouTube videos while playing the game on my second monitor. And yeah, let's get into the ratings. The overall objective is to open the final chest. To get there, you have to open a lot of chests to gain experience and gold. To open a chest, you have to deal damage to it. You can deal damage to a chest by clicking it or dealing passive damage. Every time you open a chest, it will give you some experience and gold, and sometimes treasures. With the gold, you can upgrade your active damage, passive damage, and buy items. When you buy an item, the cost will increase every time, and will be more and more expensive. The items can help you open chests or boost damage or income. These items can be upgraded with treasures. I have not played enough to try all the items yet. Curses all have an increase to active and passive damage and can be upgraded with treasures just like items can. When you gain enough experience, you level up. When you level up, you gain skill points. These skill points can only be used when you prestige. To prestige, you have to find two special items that have a small drop chance from all chests you open. When you are able to prestige, you can buy permanent upgrades with your skill points. The upgrades you get will help you open more and stronger chests. The downside to prestige is that you have to reset your progress for that run, but you will come back stronger and in short time return to the same level of chest. The gameplay follows this loop and I imagine at some point you will reach the end chest. The content of this game is mostly described by the gameplay. Every run you reach a point where you do not feel strong enough to reach the next level of chest without opening thousands of chests and it will make sense to prestige to get some passive upgrades. After every prestige, the beginning of the game becomes faster and you get more items to use and new curses to explore. While playing this game, you can easily watch something on a different monitor or phone. You can also leave the game unattended to go do something else for a while. The price of this game is in the super cheap end. And after the first four hours, I had barely scraped the surface of this game. So if you like having a game running while you do something else, this game is quite good. Now to the ratings. The gameplay is not super engaging when you reach the higher chests and you have to wait a lot. But the mechanics of the game feel smooth and works well. I will rate the gameplay 3 out of 5, not good but not bad. The amount of content is limited to opening harder chests and prestige, but it is the purpose of the game. And after 8 hours of trying the game, I don't feel even close to done with it. I will rate the content a 3 out of 5 because it's limited what you can do, but there is a lot of hours to play. This game is super cheap and will give you many hours of idle gameplay. So if you like idle clicker games, you will get your money's worth with this game. I will rate the money's worth a 4 out of 5, not a full score since the game is not for everyone. That's it for today. Leave a like and subscribe to follow my journey. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.